thing. Ha! Who knew my voice would be this low? I believe I have just been threatened. Who would dare threaten you? I have no response to that. So <laughs> there is a traitor amongst us. Find Asha. It's a dead end. With unsanded mahogany. Oh, good find, Valentino. My butt found it. I started this. Woo! I have to finish it. <laughs> so I make this wish. What are you hiding? Oh, nothing. And nobody. What is going on in there? Okay, ladies. Your wings can't fly, but your voices can. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? I'm so well, how are you? Good, it's a celebration in Hollywood for sure this weekend. It feels like it, doesn't it? Absolutely, the film itself is a celebration, a celebration of wishes, of joy, of community. Mm -hmm. What other elements did you take away when you saw the final version of the film? Oh my goodness, you know, I think getting to see the finished product of something that you worked on for almost three years, it feels like hope, you know? I think this movie is such a beautiful celebration of Disney legacy, what, where we've been, and it's also like bringing Disney into a, a new chapter, a new age, um, and that's exciting to me. It made me excited for the future, not just for Disney, but for all of us and all the things that I think we can accomplish as a community as we look to the future. I think that's, that's what I left with, yeah. Same here, I was so inspired after watching the <laughs> film. Um, in the film Asha, she definitely has um, hopes for her grandpa mm -hmm. out of everyone she wants his wish to come true was there anyone when you were younger not even yourself but someone else whose wish you could make come true oh love that question um, you know I was raised by an incredible single mother my mom Gina DuBose and I think when you initially asked me that question that's who popped up in my brain like, and I think it's such a beautiful thing to want more for those around us than we want for ourselves. And, and my mother worked so hard to give me the best life possible, which she, which she achieved. Yeah. And because of her, I am. And so that's what I want for her. I want, I want nothing more than to see her dreams achieved. I love that because of, because of me. You are, wait, because, because of, her, of her, I, I am. am. I love that, and I think Asha has qualities of that as well. You see the qualities from her mother, yeah. from her father, yeah. from her grandpa as well. Mm -hmm. the, the character Asha was inspired partly by you. <laughs> Apparently, yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> was there anyone else that you thought of when crafting Asha? Any female leaders, any women oh, wow. out there? You know what's funny? I'll be really honest. I think I let myself be so free and just pull for anything and everything that I had ever processed in my own life. So sure, I think there are elements of sassy Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. just speaking truth to power when she needs to. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are elements of other Disney heroines, you know, some I pulled from some of my favorite characters in the Disney canon. Um, so she probably has a little bit of, of, uh, of Tiana, of, you know, Sleeping Beauty, you know, Aurora, she's got a little bit of, t there's some Tangled in there, you know, I and I think that's kind of fun. Um, and this sounds very strange, but she's a little bit of Cream Jean-Pierre, like our first White House press secretary, you know? That. She's got this beautiful, beautiful presence, face, and energy, and yet she just, she sticks to the facts, she makes a decision, and she keeps it moving, and I love that, and I think Asha, does that with the support of Star. She's like, what are the facts? What can I do? Okay, let's go. Isn't that great? Oh, you're great. young, you don't know anything really. Whereas it is my responsibility to only grant the wishes I am sure are good for Rosas. So most of these wishes will never be granted? Yet I still protect them like all the others. Can't you just give them back instead? Excuse me? The wishes you're not going to grant, you could just give them back, then, I don't know, the people can try to pursue them themselves? You know, if they're dangerous, then they can be stopped. But if they're not... You've completely missed the point. People come here because they know they can't make their own dreams come true. The journey is too hard. It is too unfair. They give their wishes to me, willingly, and I make it so they forget 
their worries. You make it so they forget the most beautiful part of themselves. And they don't know what they're missing. But you do. And now I do. It's not fair. My Saba is good. The people of Rosas are good. They deserve more than- I decide what everyone deserves. That's great. And she becomes a leader, even when she didn't really want to. Mm -hmm. She's almost pushed to be a leader, and she shows up, and she's brave. Yes. Any aspects of that that you took inspiration from? Any aspects that, maybe I don't want to do this, but I realize this is the right choice for me? Well, you know, I think that's sort of reflective of my own journey. Mm -hmm. You know, I came into the world thinking I was simply going to be a dancer. And I've become all of these other things. I don't particularly enjoy my own singing voice, and yet I'm a singer, you know? I never really thought I'd be an actor, and I'm an actress. Like, that's, I think you, you're called to certain paths, and whether or not you're ready for them, they're gonna find you. And the only choice that you really have is whether you accept the challenge or you sit back. I'm someone who has always chosen to to accept the challenge and take the road less traveled. And it's always led me to beautiful, beautiful places, destinations, and, and experiences. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. Ah, oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you.